distribute awards and scholarships. The students being honored today work very hard throughout their academic careers. We appreciate and respect their dedication to academic achievement, commitment to community service, and leadership that you all have provided here in the school. This year was not an easy year. Despite the crazy twists and turns, you've made it. On behalf of your teachers, the staff, the administration, the entire Glens Falls Nation is so very proud of each one of you. Our award ceremony is a very challenging event to plan and organize, even in a normal year. There's a small army of people who work behind the scenes, and there are people that deserve special recognition for their efforts. The first is the selection committee, which consists of department chairs, teachers, school counselors, and high school administrators. The custodians and the tech team and the secretarial staff, they do a lot to prepare for today. There is an extra special thank you to four individuals who dedicated countless hours to preparing today's program. These people go above and beyond in their attention to detail and pride in their work is admirable. Mrs. Davis and Mrs. Chandler, I thank them for their assistance with the programs and for organizing all the scholarships. Mr. Amber, thank you so much for the PowerPoint presentation and then the video that you will see at the end of the, uh, the ceremony today. And Mrs. Tobias for organizing the entire thing. She does it all. Uh, she monitors the funds in the scholarship account. She communicates with the community members and the organizations. She manages all of the materials for the selection committee, and she does an amazing job at every detail of awards planning. I'd also like to ex express my sincere appreciation to the many individuals, agencies, school and community groups whose assistance made this recognition event possible. The class of 2021 is being awarded over $125,000 today. And that scholarship money is due to the generosity and support of the Glens Falls community. We typically invite our community presenters to participate in presenting their awards. While we can't have them here in person, they provide an opportunity for one of our Glens Falls seniors, and they honor you, sometimes in, in the memory of a loved one who has passed away, or sometimes to represent an organization about which they're very passionate. And they have chosen to bestow a really generous gift on a member of our school community, and we thank you for it. Our um, envelopes that you're gonna to receive today have a suggestion in there for you to thank the people who are providing you with these scholarship funds. So take some time to do that and, and thank them for their generosity. I would also like to thank our teachers, staff, and administrators, not just from the high school, but kindergarten through the high school. They've all provided an outstanding education to the class of 2021. And finally, thank you to our senior parents. Your support of the school district and ever-present guidance for your student is truly appreciated. So without further ado, we're going to get into the awards. We have a lot of them today. They're academic and athletic awards at the end. Um, there is also going to be the traditional Mr. Amberger video with a couple of surprises in it. And when we wrap up the video, there are a few announcements um, and some information that I need to share with you, uh, but we're going to get underway. So, as I said, um, we have over, over $125,000 being awarded today, and that amount is pretty staggering, but it's really staggering in the face of, um, you know, events that are typically fundraisers or held this year. There are a lot of businesses that struggled this year, and they still came up with scholarship money. Um, there are people who personally had financial hardship this year, and they still came up with scholarship money. So $125,000 is the most that, that I can recall ever, and um, it's pretty admirable in a year when you know a lot of people were, were going through some financial strain. So we truly appreciate the generosity of the Glens Falls community. The first set of awards that I have the honor to uh, give out are for our top 10 students. These students have admirable self-discipline, dedication to learning, and their commitment to their academic success has brought them this far. So as we call your names, you're going to come up and receive your award. On the other side. 
just so nobody falls through it. Yeah, here we go. All right. Uh, top 10 students, Dylan Anselman. <laughs> Catherine Hayes. <laughs> Ella Pools. <laughs> Caroline Saber. <laughs> Aiden LaFawn. Nick Tito, Emily Lunt, Fisher Herman, Brianna Aiken, and this year's valedictorian, Kaylin Harrington, and salutatorian, Sidney Snyder. Those students are all receiving medals that they can wear at graduation. Excellence. There are many, many recipients. I'm actually going to call you up in groups of five just so we don't have a, a lot of folks on the stage and we can keep the awards straight. Um, but these awards are a recognition from the President and the U.S. Secretary of Education to students whose outstanding efforts and academic success have enabled them to meet challenging standards of excellence. The awards go to Brianna Aiken, Sophia Andre, Dylan Anselman, Timmy Antonellos, McKenna Austin. <laughs> Lauren Benway, Pat Bruin, Haley Clerco, Allison Comstock, Ella Crossman. Eric Delvo, Benny Fiore, Brian Dahlman, Amelia Dahlman, Daniel Florio. Phoebe Fox, Kaylee Gerard, Jasmine Goodness, Nate Greenwood, and Abby Campbell. Aiden LaFon, Anna Liu, Emily Lunt, Jane LaHome, Ben Palmer. Caroline Shaver, Sydney Snyder, Nick Tita, Olivia Torty, Evan Wiggins. Academically, 
show strong moral character, kindness toward others, and ability to laugh at themselves and stay positive in any given situation. This year's award goes to Ella Crossman. The O'Brien Insurance Business Scholarship goes to a student who has an interest in entrepreneurship, business, and, and business ownership. They are hardworking and have a willingness to collaborate with others. That award, or those awards, there are several, go to Timmy Antonellis, Sophia Cherivalli, Noah Gerard, Sam Levine, and Evan Wiggins. <laughs> Ambition, personal motivation, and a willingness to learn. This year's, we have two recipients for this scholarship. They are Abby Hamill and Evan Riggins. <laughs> Business and Kindness Scholarship goes to a student pursuing higher education in the field of business or finance. The student must have a reputation for being kind and respectful to their peers. This year, the recipient is Annalise Wilson. The Normandin Marketing Scholarship is for a student who has a strong work, e work ethic, a positive can-do attitude, and is someone who has shown continuous leadership outside the classroom in the athletics and arts arenas and in the community as well. This year we have two scholarships. They are going to Ella Crossman and Phoebe Fox. <laughs> personality that was larger than life. This person, who is the recipient, must have demonstrated excellence in athletics, music, arts, student government, academics, and other community leadership, and extraordinary enthusiasm for life. This person stands out as a visible leader among his or her peers. This year's recipient is Phoebe Fox.
the ELEO, and Louise F. Spain scholarships. The scholarship is given in memory of ELEO and Louise F. Spain. It goes to a student who plans to further their education, and it must go to a student who is a graduate of St. Mary's and St. Alphonsus School. This year, we have two recipients, Patrick Bruin and Anthony Mangola. Our next scholarship is the Walter H. and Walter T. Robinson Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship goes to a, a senior who has demonstrated outstanding ability, plays a de uh, desirable, displays desirable personal quality, and plans to pursue something in the field of technology. This year, the recipient is Brian Donlin. <laughs> The next scholarship is the Betsy K. Austin Memorial Scholarship. Betsy Austin was a teacher at Jackson Heights School for nearly 30 years. This scholarship goes to a student who attended Jackson Heights and plans to pursue a career in teaching. This year's recipient is Ella Pools. The Glens Falls Farmers Market Scholarship goes to a student who shows promise in the area um, of business, marketing, entrepreneurship, engineering, or science. This year, the recipient is Ben Palmer. Bob and Sue Cardi Award. This year, this award is going to a senior who exemplifies the spirit of helping others in achieving their goals. This year's recipient is Ryan Bergman. The Dave Strader Scholarship is a scholarship awarded to us a student who exhibits sound character, works well with others, and is pursuing a major in sports broadcast journalism and or production in radio or television. This year, this recipient is Holden LaMountain. The Fagenbaum Scholarship is a scholarship awarded to a student who has distinguished him or herself in academics and community service, is planning on pursuing a career in teaching, science, engineering, history, or law. This year, the recipient is Kaylin Harrington. The JWP Champ Scholarship is awarded to a student who desires to become an educator and has school spirit, participates in school activities, and is, has an optimistic attitude. The student should have participated in athletics and the arts and has a positive outlook and an unselfish attitude. This year, the recipient is Allison Thompson. <laughs>
PTA and PTSA awards, the following are, are awards generously provided to deserving students by the PTA or the PTSA of each respective school. From the high school this year, the high school PTA is awarding three awards. They go to Sophia Andre, Timmy Antonellis, and Patrick Bruin. The middle school awards for the PTSA are for McKenna Austin and Cyrus Guillet. PTSA awards for Big Cross Street School. There are six of them. Brianna Aiken, Allison Comstock, Eric Delvo, Aiden LaFon, Holden LaMountain, and Nick Tito. PTSA award from Kensington Road School. There are three recipients this year: Lauren Benway, Kayla Harrington, and Emily Lunt. The PTSA Awards for Jackson Heights School. There are two awards, Haley Clarabelle and Connor Engel. <laughs> Stanford Street School. There are four awards, Jackson Brand, Parker Stafford, Olivia Tordy, and Brooke Willette. PTSA Award for Abraham Wing School, Haley Gerard. Varsity Swim Team Awards. These scholarships are for varsity swim team members who have contributed so much to the program. This year, there are a couple of awards, Dylan Anselman and Kaylin Harrington. The Spirit of 76 Scholarship. It is sponsored by the class of 1976. This student is a visible example for other students to follow. They have positive, positively influenced others through his or her actions and behaviors. They are involved in academics, music, arts, athletics, student government, or other community leadership and show extraordinary enthusiasm. This award this year goes to Ella Crossman.
The Scott Wilson Memorial Award. This scholarship is given in honor of Scott Wilson, who is a member of the class of 2004. It goes to a student who plans to pursue a career in an art-related program, particularly, particularly graphic design or graphic arts. This year, it goes to Lindsay Richardson. The Brooke Olivia Ogburn Memorial Scholarship. This was established in memory of Brooke Olivia Ogburn. She would have been a member of the class of 2020. This scholarship goes to a student who has demonstrated good character, a charitable heart, and commitment to improving the lives of children for the future. We have two recipients this year, Sydney Snyder and Annalise Wilson. Alumni scholarships. These awards are selected by the Faculty Committee on Scholarships, and they are based on need, character, citizenship, and academic record. We have several. We have eight of them today. McKenna Austin, Landon Baglio, Ryan Bergren, Francis Haggerty, Kaylin Harrington, Ada Heyman, Anthony Mangona, and Faith Harden. Alumni Association Prize for Math. This goes to the student with the highest overall average on all three Regents exams as well as any other college or AP math midterm and final exams. This year, the prize goes to Fisher Herman. <laughs> Alexander S. Jillian Memorial Scholarship is in memory of Mr. Jillian, who was a teacher at Glens Falls for many years. This scholarship goes to a graduating senior who represents academic excellence in the areas of math or science. This year, the recipient is Sydney Snyder. The Clifford K. Bosworth Memorial Scholarship is given to a boy or girl who has excelled in the area of science. The student must have an inquiring mind, great personal integrity, and a willingness to help others. This year, the recipient is Fisher Herman. The Alumni Association Prize for Chemistry is an award given to a senior who has demonstrated outstanding ability in chemistry. This year, Sydney Snyder. <laughs> Maurice and Grace Simmons Memorial Science Award is given to a graduating senior who has shown excellence in four years of science and is industrious, honest, 
honest, tolerant, caring person. This year, it goes to Brianna Aiken. The Children's Committee of Warren County Incorporated Advanced Education Award it goes to a student who uh, has the ability to achieve their goals through determination and persistence. This year, the award is for Casey Maxwell. <laughs> the McClure Mac Edward Deason Memorial Scholarship. This award is given in memory of McClure Edward Deason and it's given by his parents. It is for a student who pursues um, studies in the medical field and is, has excellence in academic and personal character, and they display leadership, demonstrate compassion and respect, and they have shown amazing courage and strength in the face of adversity. This year, it's Sophia Andre. Class of 2021 Senior Class Award. This award is for a senior who stands out as a leader in their class. This year there's two awards. Ella Crossman, Phoebe Fox. The Adirondack Area School Boards Association Community Service Award is a scholarship that is awarded to graduating seniors within each member's district who are shining examples of volunteer service within their school and community. This year it is awarded to Noah Gerard and Sydney Snyder. The Graham Eason Scholarship is a scholarship established in Graham R. Eason's memory, who was the principal of Glens Falls High School from 1967 to 1980. The scholarship is to be awarded to a member of the graduating class who exemplifies the quality of character, scholarship, and citizenship. This year, the Graham Eason Scholarship is awarded to Francis Harris. <laughs> Francis Plumeau Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a nominee that must exhibit citizenship and scholastic achievement and be interested in pursuing a degree in the humanities, art, literature, music, psychology, or social services. This year's recipient of the Francis Plumeau Memorial Scholarship is Lindsay Richardson. The Julia Corbett Perlehe Prize is to be awarded to a senior based on leadership, judgment, skill, and getting results, courage, service, and character. The Julia Corbett Perlehe Prize is awarded to Sydney Snyder. The John A. and Mary Lou Noon Scholarship, both taught in Glens Falls City School District. 
Recipients of this award will be selected on principles of education embraced by Mr. and Mrs. New, scholarship service to the community, and commitment to the youth of Glens Falls. The recipient of the Mary A. Lou Noon Scholarship is Katherine Hayes. Robert F. Cubbins Memorial Scholarship. The scholarship is given in memory of Robert Cubbins, who taught English at Glens Falls High School from 1959 to 1991. His award on an honor student has shown enthusiastic interest in the study of literature, as well as exemplary talent for writing. This year's recipient is Eric Delva. The Donna Vogel Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a nominee who must have spent at least three years at Sanford Street School. Applicants should be average struggling student who his or her turned a life around and accepted at a place of higher learning. This year's Donna Vogel Memorial Scholarship was awarded to Eric Delvo. Stanley E. Rummel Scholarship was established in honor of Stanley Rummel for 33 years of service to the Glens Falls City School District. During his tenure in our district, the award recipient must have overcome personal and educational obstacles in pursuit of a diploma. This year's recipient of the Stanley E. Rummel Scholarship, Jacob Ash. The Caroline Brown Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Caroline M. Brown, class of 1978, to offer a scholarship to a female graduating student who has participated in varsity athletics and who will be pursuing post-secondary education. The Caroline Brown Memorial Scholarship was awarded to Haley Gerard and Casey Woolstitch. Susan H.C. Memorial Award. Potential recipients are selected. Funds are established to those students who have overcome obstacles to graduate with their class. The Susan H. Seaman Memorial Award is awarded to Austin Gillies. Yeah. Dr. James W. Havlin Memorial Scholarship is established based on the wishes of Dr. Havlin, a prominent physician and salutatorian of the Glens Falls High School class of 1928. The recipient of this year's James D. Havlin Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Sidney Snyder. The Diana Giornano Curran Memorial Scholarship. She worked at the Teacher's Aid at Glens Falls Sanford Street School from 2006 to 2010. The scholarship is to be awarded to a senior planning to attend a two or four year school who displays the same qualities. Preference will be given to those students who plan to pursue a career in education. This year, the Diana German Curran Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Lauren Benway.
Glens Falls City School District Foundation. The scholarship will be awarded to students who are in good academic standing and acts as good citizens in the purpose of furthering studies in the field of interest developed through their high school careers. This year, the Glens Falls City Foundation is awarded to the following students. Dylan Amsman, Timmy Antonellos, Haley Clearview, Daniel Florio, Nate Greenwood, Fisher Herman, Nicholas Tita, Evan Wiggins, and Annalise Wilson. This year's recipient of the Harry and Myrtle Gardner Scholarships are awarded to Brianna Aiken and Jasmine Goodman. Harvey R. Deerstein III Memorial Scholarship was awarded to Jacob Ash. The Hess Scholarship. The recipient of this scholarship must have shown that he or she is worthy of help by spirit of cooperation and by the quality of work done during the four years of high school. This year's Hess Scholarship is awarded to Brooke Willett. Glens Falls Teachers Association Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded by the Glens Falls Teachers Association to graduating seniors who will be pursuing studies in the field of education after high school. This year, the Glens Falls Teachers Association Scholarship is awarded to Lauren Benway and Katherine Hayes.
Saratoga Warren County Music Association Scholarship. The association is awarded to a student from each of the organization's 17 participating school districts who have regularly selected to participate in various levels of music ensembles throughout New York State Music Association. This year's recipient is Nicholas Tita. The Glens Falls Music Department Scholarship is awarded to one Glens Falls student from the senior class who has been actively involved in the district's music program and plans to continue his or her musical pursuits. The Glens Falls Musical Department Scholarship is awarded to Katherine Hayes. James Morrissey Family Scholarship is to be awarded to a senior planning on furthering his or her education after high school. The recipient should have demonstrated academic accomplishment, scholarship through the hard work and motivation. This year's recipient is Anna Lou. Arts and Education Fund and Senior Portfolio Award winners. Any senior who's taken art courses at Glens Falls High School is eligible to participate. Students are asked to share their best work from the last four years. Works will be judged by the district's art teachers. Those will be looking for body of work that shows passion, artistic expression, artistic merit, and creativity. Honorable mention, Noah Harris, Ava Heyman, and Casey Maxwell. Artist Statement, Henry Gelman. Artist Statement, Henry Gilman. The Senior Portfolio Winners, third place, Lindsay Richardson. Second place, Jasmine Goodness. First place, Henry Gell. Glens Falls Rotary Club Service Scholarship is a program intended to salute students who exemplify the Rotary model, service above self. The Glens Falls Rotary Club Service Scholarship is awarded to Sydney Snyder. The Glens Falls Kiwanis Foundation Scholarship 
This foundation awards scholarships to graduating high school seniors who are active participants in the Key Club and are pursuing additional education. The Glens Falls Kiwanis Foundation Scholarship is awarded to Sydney Snyder. Mr. and Mrs. Norma B. Green Jr. Vocal Award. This award is for contributing outstanding musical and dramatic talent and an exceptional work ethic to the music department and theater ensembles at Glens Falls High School. The Mr. and Mrs. Norman B. Green Jr. Vocal Award is awarded to Amelia Hunt. The Glens Falls Police Benevolent Association Scholarship is, is awarded for college-bound seniors planning to pursue studies in criminal justice or law-related fields. The Glens Falls Police Benevolent Association awarded to Connor Engel and Lillian Murray. Antonio Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Gary Marcantonio, who graduated in 1968 and was an exemplary student athlete. This award goes to a graduate who has made great strides academically and ethically during their time here at Glens Falls High School. This year's recipient is Dylan Anselman. The Jason Vogel Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Joe, Jason Vogel, Joe Vogel, sorry, the Joe Vogel Memorial Scholarship. <clears throat> Joe Vogel, whose leadership, sportsmanship, perseverance, and inner spirit was shared with others in his love for sports, especially hockey, and also his respect for healthcare workers. This year's recipient is Benjamin D. Fuel. This year's recipient is Caroline Shaver. are given to two graduates who have rendered significant service to their school and the community. This year's recipients are Lauren Benway and Allison Constant. Suroptimus member who represents academic excellence 
outstanding character and citizenship as displayed, displayed through their genuine participation in the club. This year's recipients are Lauren Benway and Sarah Moore. The Serapimus Violet Richardson Award recognizes young women throughout the state engaged in volunteer activities within their communities or schools that positively impact the community and they make the world a better place. This year's recipient is awarded to Lauren Benway. Dr. Bruce Michael Kantrowitz Scholarship was established in, in memory of Dr. Bruce Michael Kantrowitz, class of 1967. A graduating senior who has demonstrated academic excellence, is of good moral character, planning to pursue a career in English journalism, writing, or communications. This year's recipient is Kaylin Harrington. Yeah. awarded to the person who ranks first in the graduating class. Funds for this prize are derived from an endowment established by the Jacobsons. This year's recipient is Kaylin <laughs> Career Fund Foundation scholarships are awarded to deserving students who reside in the five Adirondack counties. This award is renewable every year while the student remains in school. This year's recipient is Eric Delva. established in memory of Shoshana Wasserman. This year's recipient is Olivia Twardy. Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Sally Honke, who was an elementary school teacher with a passion for reading. The scholarship is awarded to a student who demonstrates academic excellence, service-minded, and pursuing a four-year college with a focus in education. This year's recipient is Ella Cools. was established in honor of Robert Honke, whose passion for athletics, especially basketball and track, and his active participation in service made him a pillar of the community. This year's recipient is Jacob Ash.
Eva Austin Judkins Scholarship is awarded to a senior girl who has strong character, high scholastic standing, and is attending a four-year college. This year's recipient is Emily Lunt. Brown Memorial Scholarship was created in memory of Mr. Brown, who was the principal of Glens Falls High School for 32 years. The scholarship is awarded to a student who exemplifies qualities of strong character, scholarship, and citizenship. This year's recipient is Caitlin Harrington. James Orlo Muse Scholarship was created in memory of James Muse. The recipient of this award displays qualities of perseverance, dedication, grace, and compassion while participating in their athletic interests. This year's recipient is Nathaniel Greenwood. contributions to Glens Falls High School. This year's recipient is Noah Gerard. <laughs> Anthony and Joan Scott Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Anthony and Joan Scott for their incredible commitment and service to the Glens Falls community and Glens Falls School District for many years. This award is given to a student who demonstrates exemplary community and or school service and will be attending an institution of higher education. This year's recipient is Abby Hamill. Christopher Steves Memorial Scholarship was, in, was established in memory of Christopher J. Steves. The scholarship is to be awarded to a student planning to pursue post-secondary education in the culinary field. This year's recipient is Benjamin Mayo. David Ancher Memorial Scholarship is given to a student who demonstrates the following qualities. Hardworking, compassionate, considerate, and is attending a post-secondary school. This year's recipient is Eric Delvo. Ben Osborne Memorial Fund Scholarship was established in memory of SPC Benjamin Osborne, who was a Lake George High School graduate. 
and was killed in Afghanistan on June 13, 2010. He was awarded the Brown Star and the Purple Heart for his heroic actions. Recipients of this award, award represent strong character, charitable heart, service to others, and a commitment to self-improvement. This year's recipients are Connor, Connor Engel and Caroline Shaver. scholarships are awarded to students throughout the state who demonstrate a commitment to serving others, especially children, and have per persevered through adversity. This year's recipients are Timmy, are Timmy Antonolis and Ella Cools. Satterfield Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Robert Satterfield, who persevered and fulfilled his dream of graduating from the Glens Falls High School in 2008. This award honors a student who is creative, displays courage, has persevered through adversity, and is compassionate towards others. This year's recipient is Connor Engel. school for their entire life, from kindergarten to 12th grade, and that they exhibit good moral character and have strong academics. It is also renewable for all four years while you are participating in your undergraduate studies. This year's recipient is Ella Cools. Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Mrs. Wallace, who worked for over 25 years here at Glens Falls High School in the library. The award will be given to a student who has an interest in literature, who demonstrates compassion for others, their dedication, has a kind and giving spirit, and has given strong service towards their school. This year's recipient is Ella Crossman. Maria Morgan Memorial Scholarship was established to honor Maria Morgan, who was a great friend to the Glens Falls School District. This award is given to a student who exhibits characteristics similar to Maria, passionate and caring for others. This year's recipient is Katherine Hayes. Memorial was established in memory and honor of Mr. Beecher, who was incredibly proud of his heritage of the city of Glens Falls. He also worked two jobs while he was in high school. He played varsity football during high school. He then joined the Navy. He went to Skidmore College, 
graduating in the first class that allowed men, and thrived in a very successful career in pharmaceutical sales. This year's recipient, recipient exemplifies many of those same qualities. Congratulations to Anna Lou. Glens Falls Permanent Firemen's Benevolent Association Scholarship is awarded, awarded to students with strong character, excellent scholastic record, and continuing their post-secondary education after graduation. This year's recipient is Aiden Hirsch. established in memory of Mr. Robert Freeman, who was an English teacher here for many, many years. It is for a student who plans to major in English or journalism at a four-year university. This year's recipient is Faith Pardon. The Jacqueline Tyner Scholarship was established for a graduating senior who has strong moral character and volunteers and makes ser serving others a priority in memory of Jacqueline Tyner, who was a member of the Glens Falls City School District for many years. This year's recipient is Ella Cools. Ben and Sharon Aronson Scholarships were established in celebration of Ben and Sharon's passions and interests during their lifetime. Students showing a propensity in business, entrepreneurship, computer science, engineering, or information technology will be given preference. This year's recipients are Amy LaFond and Emily Lund. Edward M. Bartholomew Jr. Memorial Scholarships were established in memory of former mayor Edward M. Bartholomew, whose enthusiasm and love for the Glens Falls community, local sports, and his generosity for those in need will forever be remembered. Students who have been active in sports, extracurricular activities, and have participated in community service are recipients of this award. This year, Noah Gerard and Parker Stafford are recipients. International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employee Scholarship is awarded to a student who plans to pursue studies in the performing arts, either as a performer or in a related field. This year's recipient is Catherine Hayes.
Red and Black Gives Back. Your four years that you have been here as students has been filled with many times and energies and gifts from all of you. And many of you have volunteered many countless hours. Today we're going to recognize those seniors who have volunteered for 100 hours or more. We thank you for your service that you have given to the Glens Falls School District and to the Glens Falls community. This year's recipients are Lauren Benway, Allison Comstock, Ella Crossman, Ella Pools, Caroline Schaefer, Sydney Snyder, Bridget Walton, and Annalise Wilson. Thank you. Concludes the awards that we're giving, but at this time we do recognize retirees. We would like to take this moment to recognize we have one faculty member who will be retiring after 34 years in the teaching field and 20 years here at Glens Falls High School. I would like it if we could give a round of applause to Mrs. Maureen Sarah, wishing her the best. I wish all of you the best, and at this time, I will turn it over to Mr. Corlew, who will be doing the athletic awards. Thank you, Mrs. Collins. Three sports seasons in about five months, I'm truly honored to be able to, to, to honor the following seniors for an unbelievable senior year. When you hear your name, please come forward. Brianna Aiken, softball, two years. <laughs> Sophia Andre, cross country, one year. Softball, three years. Field hockey, two years. <laughs> Dylan Anselman, soccer, one year. Lacrosse, one year. Swimming two years. <laughs> Jacob Ash, football two years. <laughs> McKenna Austin, cross country two years, track one year, tennis two years. Landon Baglio, soccer two years, basketball one year, baseball two years. <laughs> Zach Barrett, basketball two years. <laughs> Vivian Bale, basketball two years, volleyball four years, softball one year. Lauren Benway, field hockey two years, basketball one year, tennis one year. <laughs> Anissa Berg, track three years, volleyball two years. Jackson Brand, football two years, basketball two years. Patrick Bruin, golf three years, lacrosse four years, alpine ski one year. <laughs> Megan Canale, volleyball two years.
William Center, golf, two years, swimming, three years, lacrosse, four years. Allison Comstock, field hockey, two years, lacrosse, two years. Joseph Cook, bowling, three years. Ella Crossman, tennis, five years, lacrosse, two years, soccer, one year, alpine ski, four years. Benjamin DeFiore, soccer, three years, ice hockey, five years, baseball, three years. Brian Donnelly, soccer, two years, lacrosse, four years. McKenna Edwards, volleyball, two years. Phoebe Fox, soccer, four years. Alpine ski, six years. Lacrosse, six years. Tennis, one year. Jacob Francato, wrestling, four years. Haley Girard, field hockey, three years. Basketball, three years. Softball, two years. <laughs> Noah Girard, lacrosse, three years. Football, three years. Basketball, two years. Golf, one year. Logan Ganyan, football, two years. <laughs> Nate Greenwood, soccer, two years, tennis, four years. <laughs> Cyrus Guillet, football, two years, lacrosse, four years. Soccer, three years. Swimming, three years. <laughs> Francis Haggerty, baseball, two years. Jensen Heim, field hockey one year, softball one year. Abba Heyman, swimming five years, Nordic ski two years.
Aiden Hirsch, football two years, basketball two years, baseball three years. Ella Cools, track four years, volleyball five years, tennis one year. Reagan Kaiser, track four years, indoor track one year, swimming four years, Nordic ski two years. Aiden Lafon, football four or two years, swimming four years. Holden LaMontagne, baseball two years, soccer two years, ice hockey five years. Anna Lou, tennis four years. Emily Lund, basketball one year, lacrosse three years, alpine ski one year, tennis one year, soccer four years. Jaden Mahan, swimming four years. Anthony Mangona, football two years, basketball two years. Maya Matisse, tennis three years. Aiden McCain, bowling three years. Sarah Moore, basketball one year, alpine ski one year, field hockey two years. Lily Murray, swimming four years, softball three years. Connor Northrup, lacrosse, four years, alpine ski, four years. Ben Palmer, baseball, three years, alpine ski, four years. Ryan Preston, football, two years, ice hockey, three years. Michael Reyes Garcia, Unified Basketball, four years. Carter Roberts, football, two years. Elijah Sampson, football four years, basketball one year, track four years. Parker Stafford, football two years, swimming three years, track four years. Connor Sweener, football two years. Nicholas Tita, swimming four years. Patrick Vaughn, football one year, track two years. Madison 
Webster. Lacrosse three years, swimming one year. Evan Wiggins, soccer three years, basketball two years, tennis one year. Eliza Williams, field hockey two years, basketball three years, softball two years. need to be returned to IT. If you don't know where that is, it's down by Mrs. Gormley's room. Um, and you can take care of that at any time in the next uh, few days. Don't forget to send thank yous to those donors, um, who, uh, many of whom usually come here and they, they are so um, appreciative of being able to present to you. And uh, usually, it is certainly in the case of uh, in memory or memorial um, scholarships, those are pretty emotional moments for those families, so take some time to, uh, to recognize their generous gifts. If you are a student who is in the top 10 or you earned honors courts and you have not yet picked them up, um, there are a couple reasons for that. You didn't know you had to pick them up. But you can do that right after the ceremony in the main office. If you can't stay today to do that, you can pick them up at any point next week. Um, as you're probably aware, this has been a little bit of a roller co coaster of a ride in terms of regulations uh, for everything we've done in school this year. It continues to be um, surprises around every corner, let's just say that. When I left here on Tuesday, um, I left with a mission of we received new guidance, rethought and replanned graduation. By the time I got here yesterday morning, those guide, guidelines were changed. Um, so in response to the guidelines, you've, you've been getting some updates. You know, you got the update of, I no longer need to collect all your vaccination, recovery, or um, test for COVID being negative. We no longer need to collect any contact tracing data either. So those of you who were great about filling out that form, I truly appreciate it. There was a deadline of, of Monday the 21st to submit that data. If you haven't done that yet, you don't need to. We don't need to contact trace. Some of the other guidance has changed in terms of venues, um, what we can use, what the regulations are. I think you'll be pretty happy with some of the changes um, that are gonna take place. So this information is not on public. The staff doesn't know about it yet. Um, actually, poor Mrs. Collins just found out about it about an hour before this. As of yesterday, we made the decision to really open up graduation. Um, so we don't need your contact tracing data. We don't need your vaccination data. Masks are encouraged, but not required, especially for vaccinated people. Social distancing requirements are not in, um, in effect unless that's something that you choose to do. You, do. you have unlimited tickets to graduation. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to worry about tickets. Anybody you want to come can come. There's no requirement to pick up any tickets. Here's the catch. Location has changed. Date has changed. We're gonna use our rain date. The rain date that was given out to you was Saturday, 9 a.m. 
graduation will be Saturday the 26th at 9 a.m. It will be held at the Glens Falls Civic Center so that we can have as many people there as we want to have there. So that information is going to go out in a detailed email um, so that everybody is aware. But I know some families were very, very upset at the limits of the kits. Um, but having it at the Glens Falls Civic Center, we have no limits. We have plenty of space to spread out. Um, we're going to have to wing it a little bit because we can't get in there to do a rehearsal. So we'll figure that out um, when, when we need to. But in terms of graduation, like I said, we're going to send this information out to parents um, as soon as I get back to my office. And we will um, let them know that they're able to invite whoever. We are still live streaming it for people who cannot attend, or out of town especially, or elderly folks who cannot get there. So it will be live streamed as well as having unlimited guests. So hopefully that relieves some stress on your family. Um, I know that you know it's been a it's been a really really difficult back and forth for you guys, ups and downs. Um, but trust me, it's it's been that way for everybody involved in, uh, in in working with students and especially for the students. Today, you guys were awesome. It is genuinely heartwarming, except for that. Um, <laughs> you guys, it's genuinely heartwarming to see you cheer for your classmates. It's really nice to see you guys together. You have a couple of opportunities to be together again. You have the senior cruise, you have the senior sunset, and then the last time that you will gather as a class will be at graduation. So over the course of the next week or so, take care of what you need to take care of. I will send out updates um, to families and to, um, to the school community um, about graduation. And uh, I appreciate your support and your continued patience with all of the changes that have happened. Don't forget about your Chromebook. And if you need cords and sashes, you can stop in the office and get those either now or at any point in the next week. Thank you guys. Have a great afternoon.